partitioning around K medoids are another a popular clustering of fruit. Sometimes we call it as K medoids. So the steps for K medoids approach are shown here. So the first two approaches for K medoids are similar to the two first two steps that we take in K means. So initially we select K number of medoids. We call it as uh, K, K random medoids. And then we do the, the computation using the distance function. And from this we select the, the shortest distance and assign clusters for each data element. And in the third step what we do is we select another non-medoid item. So that means uh, a, a data element which does not selected earlier as a medoid and replace one medoid from that and then do the same computation again. So the difference between k-means and k-medoids here we consider a feature called cost. So the function to determine the cost is shown in this uh, particular slide. So if the, the cost is less when we do the replacement so we consider it as a good replacement so we keep the replacement and then do another change for another metroid and always we check for the cost so this algorithm stops when the uh, algorithm obtains the lowest cost so that means the metroids are uh, the combination to have the lowest cost So to illustrate the k medoids algorithm, we will take the same example uh, we took for k-means. So here the initial clusters are also the same, but the, the change that we do would be A4 will be changed to A5 and check whether the change is suitable or not suitable. So the first two steps as I mentioned earlier it would be the same so we determine the clusters for each data element and then we take the cost using the cost function so simply the cost would be the shortest distance for each data element and we take the sum of the shortest distance for each element so the uh, the first element is a1 the shortest distance 0 plus for the second element it is 4 plus 7 and like that so the cost for the initial medoids are 23 so now we do the the change from a4 to a5 so when we do the change from a4 to a5 the the other two medoids and the distances won't be changed. So we need to calculate only for the changed medoid. So when we do the calculation for the change and determine the distances, then we can assign the cluster centers for each data element and then again we consider the cost. So we can see when we use the same cost function and determine the cost, the cost is less than the previous cost. So we have two costs, S1 and S2. If S1 is greater than S2, then the change is acceptable. So that means the, the cost is less when we do a change. So we keep the change and we can do another change to another k another medoid and calculate the cost so this algorithm will stop when the cost is the lowest